Hello. In this video, we are going to derive a version of the Henderson Hasselbach equation for bases. We consider a weak base B reacting with water to become protonated and also producing hydroxide ion. The equilibrium constant for this, the Kb, has the following form. Our first step is to take the negative log of each side and get the expression that is shown in the second line on the screen. We note that, by definition, the pKb is the negative log of the Kb, so therefore we make that substitution. We also use the properties of the logarithm to break up the logarithmic expression on the right-hand side as the sum of two logs. We recognize an expression on the right hand side, the negative log of the concentration of hydroxide ion is the definition of the pOH, so therefore we replace that expression by pOH. Now we recognize that we can use the commutative property of addition on the right-hand side to switch the places of the two terms, the pOH and the negative log of the ratio of the concentrations of the protonated base to the unprotonated base. Now we add the logarithm of the concentration of protonated B divided by the concentration of the unprotonated B to each side to get an expression where we have pOH on the left-hand side and an expression on the right-hand side that looks very familiar to the classical henderson hasselbach equation. If we add the log of the protonated base divided by the concentration of the unprotonated base to each side, we get the equation in the red box, which is our Henderson Hasselbach equation, but in terms of a weak base instead of a weak acid. It will be instructive to compare the relationship that we've just derived with the traditional one in terms of an acid. Recall that we can write a reaction for a Bronsted Lowry acid as HA reacts with water to give hydronium ion plus the conjugate base here, which is written as A. For this reaction, the equilibrium constant is the acid dissociation constant Ka. The concentration of hydronium times the concentration of the conjugate base divided by the concentration of the undissociated acid.
we can now compare the forms for the version of the henderson hasselbach equation in terms of the weak acid, which is on top, and the version in terms of the weak base, which is on the bottom. Notice also that we have one relationship in terms of the pH and the other relationship in terms of the pOH. You also notice that in the equation we have the version of the uh, acid association constant pKa or the version for the base pKb plus another term which is a logarithm of a ratio of concentrations. Now we are simply going to add those two equations together to get an expression for the sum of the pH and the pOH. We also take care to line the terms up in a particularly convenient and suggestive way, again, emphasizing the parallels between the two versions of the henderson hasselbach equation. Now we know that if we compare the two equations for the uh, reaction as an acid and the reaction as a base, that our A expression is simply the base B, and the acid HA corresponds to the protonated base BH+. So if we make those substitutions, the logarithmic terms from the previous slide cancel out, they sum up to zero, so we get our final result that the pH plus the pOH is equal to the pKa plus the pKb, which is equal to the uh, pKw, where Kw is the ion dissociation constant for water. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Please stay healthy. Please stay safe. Please stay warm. And as always, have a good one.